Oh, <clears throat> you can also sweep the frequencies to see uh, if there are any other points that have low SWR. Um, <clears throat> there are multiband uh, antennas, and there's, there's not, I, I don't see any in, in this frequency range here. Ah, there's one right there. That's one at about 83 megahertz, because that won't do you much good. Yeah. Anyway, that's how you can check the frequency of an antenna. Um, let me take this down. Yeah, I better get that for knock it over. I didn't fully trust Andrew, so I brought my own backup. <laughs> Probably wise. <clears throat> this this is a JPO. It's just <clears throat> just a homemade thing. It's it's not even cut to the right frequency. But basically, it's a piece of twin lead, and you just make a JPO out of it. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, you normally would just tap up on it for a stub, but just to make it easy to build, just took a piece of wire and, and folded it over, just make a little stub out of it, and keep the RF from coming back down on a coax line, put some beads over here. I'm just going to check this for you real quick, see what frequency it is. You normally will hang it up this way. Okay. I don't know, I don't know if Andrew's tall enough or not. <coughs> Just hold it. Just hold it up this way. Now just let it drip. Just let. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Let's see what that is. That's somewhere around <clears throat> two meters or so. <clears throat> let's come up here. Okay. Can y'all see that? Okay. Let's see if it. Let's see if it's going to be like being in the lab. <clears throat> Do what now? Can't see the screen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What? Okay. Okay. Great. Can you, okay. Let's see. Let's move it. Okay. Good. The frequency, the SWR. I'm just watching the SWR point, so I can just sweep this. Ah, there's a nice low SWR. It's in. It's 154.7 megahertz. A little bit high for two meters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, okay, yeah, that's a good point. We start selling these to the fire department. <clears throat> okay, let me move it up and let's see what the band, two, two to one SWR bandwidth is. Raise the frequency up, find the point where it's two to one SWR, 157 or so. Then I'm going to come back down to the low SWR point and keep going down, find the other uh, two to one SWR point. That's about 151 or so, 152, 152 to 157, uh, 152 to 157. What's the difference there? Like five megahertz, something like that. Okay, so anyhow, that's how you can check meters, uh, antenna. Thanks. No <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Of course, like I was saying, you can uh, right here at the BNC connector, you can input that for a frequency counter, and you can use the output here to give you a, a, a signal out to use it as a signal generator. <coughs> and um, uh, the signal is always available here. To get to the uh, frequency counter mode, um, you're in the main mode now. You just push it, get coax loss. Push it again, you can measure capacitance. Push it again, measure inductance. And push it again, that's the frequency counter. Okay, now you can also set the uh, number of digits that the frequency counter can read by pushing the gate button. You notice right up here, there's three. Now you, uh, now it's two digits, that's a point oh one a second for gate town, gate time. And then you can get four digits there. 
So <clears throat> I'm going to uh, Oops. Okay. When you can't figure out how to get out of that mode, you just turn it off. <laughs> turn it back on. <clears throat>